Alright guys, that's my first cast. As you guys can see, it's pretty much snowing and it's cold. My hands are freezing. And I keep making the mistake of not bringing gloves. Ooh, that's cold. Well, when you want to catch smallies, especially when the large small bass ain't body. Ain't no weather stopping me. Fish on. Feels like this one. Really beautiful fish. Holy moly. That is the prettiest smallie I've ever seen. Pretty hooked. That is definitely the prettiest smallie I've ever seen. Check that out. Really, really dark. It's number one. It's number one. Fish on, guys. Probably one of the beautiest, nicest little small mouth I've seen so far. Number two. All right, guys. I have not done the intro yet, but today I am back on the on the river. I fish a bit already. Uh, to my left, all the way down about a mile nothing so i walk all the way down here and uh as you guys saw got those two little probably like pound pound and a half smallmouth bass which i drive close to an hour for and i'm thinking i'll figure out these fish uh they're not too far and they're not too close so they're they're about 20 yards away from me right now And they're pretty finicky. Uh, I prefer fishing in the cloud. These fish are a lot more active. But uh, today, 
they are pretty I think I think they're hog bogging I think I, okay I, I got snagged there they're hogging on the bottom I feel and that's where a drop shot come in play kind of kind of I'm letting my bait just drag along the, the bottom of the river feel the rocks I can feel my bait my sinker thumping all the rocks and eventually I, I, I will feel the bite just go ahead and set the hook there's a couple guys to my left there but they left not sure why Let me see if I could get my bay out. Split shots and some hooks. And that's literally all you need, guys. You don't need to buy some six, eight, twelve, ten dollar tungsten heads. Just come fish the river. Like, there's no such thing as you needing the tungsten to, to be sensitive, all right? If you wanna be sensitive, you're gonna be sensitive when you lose a tungsten jig head that costs like $2, all right? I am sitting here. There's a there's a little, I don't know what you call it, sewer that comes to my right over here. And it, it goes into the main. Be a nice log. Oh, I know this branch. Good old branch. Another tip is cast up river and let it drift down river. Oh. That way you could cover as much water as you can. Like for instance, you cast straight. While you're reeling, the bait is gonna come down here. So go up, fish down river or up river. Waited good, good, good minute. Let's just say that. Good five seconds. Tight line, felt it, set the hook, and it popped off. But was rewarded with another one so patience is key fish on guys it's not huge Fish here, they all feel the same. 
Same thing, guys. Just drop shot. Let it fall off the bottom. But uh, this guy right here fights as hard as a three-pound bass, like a largemouth bass. That's how crazy these animals are. Whenever I catch five-pounder, like honestly, they feel just like like this little guy. They found five-pounders in this in this stretch of river. I don't know. Is it, this fish could possibly be the same fish I caught earlier. Beauty. Beauty, beauty.